All righty then. It's time for some Latvius. Latavius. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Latvius is cool. It's a cool name. You know, you get to go different ways with yeah. it. Some people might find it as disrespect. I think it's a sign of endearment if yeah. you play, play around with, with someone's name. Yeah, I mean... Like our we, boy Spragua. Spragua. That guy. <laughs> Just got a shirt. Said it was great. Good guy. Aaron. Good guy. Strong guy. Yeah. <laughs> Spragua. I think he's a fish fan, too. Even better. <laughs> Where does he live? Where do you live, Aaron? <laughs> I'll be at Charlotte. I got his address. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be in Charlotte. <laughs> For the uh, summer tour. <laughs> Are you really going? Yeah. All right. I, I mean, I go to at least two a year. Got to catch a Sunday show. Uh, it's a Friday show. Oh, hmm. what about the Sunday? I mean, I'll try to catch a Sunday at some point. Got to go to Sunday. Just I'm like, having a baby right around then. So Ooh. it's going to be my first trip out of town. So it's Bragua. He thinks he'll be in Charlotte. Oh, no, I'll be there. Oh, he doesn't know for sure. I'm pretty sure. He's not sold. Unless there's something wrong with the kid. Mm. Don't I'll want to talk there. about that. No, I'm not even talking about that. Right <laughs> now. Not even touching that. <laughs> not touching that one. Yo, did y'all watch the... Uh, you the- did throw me off earlier when you just said my daughter. Just like, you know... I don't, because I don't even know if I've said my son yet. Yeah. Like it's I've, I'm about to have a boy. He's about to have a girl. Just like this is brand new to us. Both of our wives' bellies are huge, and this is just all kinds of new. And I'm behind, but I'm also in the mix of the kids. <laughs> do we know yet, boy or girl? I do know. <gasps> oh, is this like a surprise? This ain't. Supposed nah. to, we're not gonna talk about this right no, now. No, we. Can, it's a girl. Oh no way! All yeah. right. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, girls are cool. It's just going to be so much more worrying and stress, you know? I feel like I'd worry less with a boy, but it's just so hard out there for a girl, <laughs> you know? Because of stupid boys. Yeah. We're the worst. So bad. So did you? Did y'all Did y'all watch the uh, the business of being born? Did y'all see? Mm-mm. Y'all fuck with that video at all? No. Oh, geez. You didn't. It's like a documentary. It's like Ricky Lake, her second birth she had was like a home birth, and so it was about these chicks it it's about like how hospitals make a ton of money off delivering babies and how like you know other other countries besides america have like way more home births and way less fatalities both from the mother and the baby side and so they're just they but there's like a lot of graphic like they're in there with the camera and it's like cassie at the end of it was like so what'd you think and i was like Pregnancy is gross. Yeah, I'm going to be on the top half. <laughs> Me too, bro. She goes, I'm, I'm all not, set. I don't need any part of that business nah. end. She goes, she goes, well, what else did you think? I mean, I was like, well, sign yourself up for however much pain you want to go through. I don't, whatever you want to do. Yeah. I don't. So me and Jason's wives both work at a hospital, which we're not going to pay very much to have a child. Yeah. So we're not in that percentile. Um, they do a. It's pretty cheap to have it a is, baby. It is cheaper, at, for uh, sure. At USC. I think it's like 700 bucks. Well, it's cheaper to have a baby at home in general. Oh, I just mean is. for me and you. Right. We're not going to beat well, that price. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to beat that price. No, no reason to even shop around. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. Well, people came here to hear about Latavius Murray. We should probably get back to that. <laughs> Anyways, though. I, I, right. I would say I did. Like, so if, we, if, my mo- if my wife did not work at a hospital, we would... There's like a birthing center up in uh, North, Charleston. North Charleston that some people. And the closest hospital is and, Roper, and, they, and nobody wants to go they to said Roper. It, they said yeah. it was great uh, experience there. So if like if we had to pay for a regular delivery, that's probably where we would have ended up. And to to further the earlier point, there's no chance I'm looking. <laughs> no way. Mm, I'm also yeah. not cutting the cord. Somebody else is gonna have to cut that yeah. thing. I'm good. And yeah. let's not pretend like Big Co didn't tell everyone on the pleasure chest already that I was having a baby. I'll let it slip out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cats, Cats out of the bag. Out of the bag. Sorry, man. That's all right. All right. We've uh, burned four minutes here. Let's get uh, into some Latavius. It's not going to require much time talking about Latavius. You we, should listen. We talked about Mark Ingram. You yeah. left the Saints. Right. Insert Latavius. Biggest takeaway is Alvin Kamara is the winner here. Yeah. In my opinion. He's a winner. But, I mean, Latavius won, too. Well, I mean, Latavius definitely won. But I think I think this is just... To me, speaks volumes. Like I think they're just a lot, a little more comfortable with not really shouldering too much. Like I think Latavius will be get get some run and and be a nice piece. But I think I think I think Kamara is going to be. I mean, uh, Kamara was already the winner. Sure, he won already. But I think I think Latavius 
owners previous to this situation well, are the that's, winners. That's that was a whole. I was going to lead the conversation off with that. That well, we've been telling you. That, well, exactly. But we got into a different conversation. So, you know, we've been telling you guys on Patreon, like, hey, try try to trade for Latavius Murray in season, and then we were like, just wait till the season's over, and nobody's talking about Latavius Murray anymore. Somebody will give him to you. So, mm-hmm. if you took our advice, it's great. You got Latavius Murray for nothing, and now he's in a great situation. But I do think that it's. I, th- I think the Saints are gonna are gonna give Alvin Kamara even more than he was getting last year. With uh, possibly, and and if he can handle any more, I'm sure they'll give it to him. But that uh, that again, that offense in general is in top two every year of sure. running back touches between rushes and catches. And Latavius Murray, towards in the end of the seventeen season and eighteen season. We were, talk, we, we were talking about spry, lean Latavius Murray. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like maybe flip the switch or something. You know, he's like, hey, I'm going to get in some, some shape that I wasn't in. I mean, he started his career as a speedster, a big speedster back. But, I mean, he looked pretty agile for the Vikings yeah, the does. last handful of games. Giving him a lot of love at the end of the season. I'm telling you, he looked good. He, and he I, did look good. I think this is a huge... Hey. I mean, if you look it's a at, huge step up for for Latavius. Murray. Sure, and if you look at, I'm not discounting that. I just think I think that Kamara is going to step into like it was a little bit of a timeshare, and I think it'll be even less of a timeshare moving forward for Kamara. Well, it was less of a timeshare last year. The 2017 Mark Ingram Alvin Kamara sure. situation was a lot more half and half. Yeah, Kamara so, just crushed it. Efficiency. He only wise. played 12 games. Uh, Ingram did yeah, in 18 and, ha- and had 138 carries. Um, and if you look at their, uh, Murray and, and Ingram, if you look at their stats, they're pretty much the same, even though Murray played, uh, through the 16 games and they're almost identical, like 140 carries, 130 carries, 4.1, 4.7, 578 yards, 645 yards. So, but obviously Latavius is going to a little bit situation. I think Latavius did look good. I think it's a nice upgrade for Latavius and no doubt going to be more of the no doubt. But I, I I do think well you I just did the na- I mean did the math on my phone just based on the carries per game last week last year of Mark Ingram was only 11, 11 and a half carries per game. So it's mm-hmm. not like like you said I mean it's not like Latavius is stepping into some huge role that Mark Ingram just right. left. If this happened two years ago, Mark Ingram, we thought maybe would have thought he just left a huge role. But last year, given the suspension and everything we talked about when we talked about Mark Ingram, maybe the Saints were just like, okay, we're going to game plan this direction, the, the whole Taysom Hill thing. I, maybe Latavius Murray isn't stepping into a situation where he's going to be the back-end RB1 Tight, you know, because mm-hmm. 2017, they were both RB1s and, and pretty high up there. I, again, yeah, Alvin Kamar probably crushes again, probably absolutely crushes. And then Latavius Murray, solid RB2, just uh, maybe not as consistent week to week, had those, you know, goal li- those goal line touches that'll, you know, pick that ceiling up one week and the next week it might not be so hot, but he might catch three or four passes and do a couple mm-hmm. things, keep you in that 10, yeah. 12 point range. And he, you know, go back and forth between 10 points and 18 points, depending on if he gets a touchdown, maybe. Uh, but then, and of course, all, as always, if uh, Mr. Alvin Kamara misses any time at all, then you got a plug and play, no ma- matchup proof running back to plug in and Latavius Murray. So if you have a, uh... If you have Kamara, you got to go out all out to get Latavius, and I because I think he's cheaper because he's I think he's, he's cheaper than Mark Ingram would have been oh, as a handcuff sure. because I think well, people got th- to see Mark Ingram was way too expensive to handcuff. Exactly. Well, he was Kamara. a he was a startable. You start them right. both if you had them. Right. And he's not a handcuff at that point. Right. He's more expensive well, than a handcuff. But well, I mean Latavius is probably is, is a solid handcuff there. So what do you, what do you give up to get Latavius at this point? Mm. He's currently at two fifty seven. Yeah, that's not a real ADP. That though. ain't even real. Yeah, that's another at least a hundred spots above that. That's oh, just, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I can move him up. He's tenth rounder now. Um, he's probably pick one hundred and ten to one hundred and twenty. So eleven to twelfth. I think he'll end up being a pretty trendy pick. Yeah, Kenneth Dixon or uh, Latavius Murray. Latavius uh, Murray. He's twenty nine. That's a terrible age. Yeah, but I mean, it has a lot of stank on it. 28, right? No, he's 29. Mm. Try to give him a couple months. 
I mean, I'll take the two year situation in for Latavius Murray. Then, I mean, you're, really, you're you're behind Mark Ingram over there, and and for the Ravens, and you know, Dante Foreman or Latavius. You gotta take Dante, right? Just because people love him, so he's twenty two. I think you could take you could. I think they're gonna keep Lamar around this year, but I think you could roll the dice on on Dante Foreman and check him out. I mean. I just feel like Latavius is a, is going to be a solid RB two mm. with with extreme upside. I would, I don't, I don't RB he, solid RB three. Yeah, he's not going to be a guy I want in my lineup every week. I don't believe so. Well, I mean that's all right. So that to that point, there's not many solid RB twos. Mark Ingram wasn't a guy I wanted in my lineup every week last year. Yeah, but I would have felt a lot more comfortable especially at least most of the way through the season once Ingram got back I would I I just felt like I wanted now that I've saw how they kind of finished the season with that I mean Ingram had some good games and um, he wasn't bad by any means but I just I think maybe they're again just to go back to the beginning of the conversation I think maybe they're getting more to the point where Kamara stays on the field as they get, like there's no real reason to really Take him off. You're at the end of Drew Brees' career. I was you're just trying about to say win. that. Got and, nothing to look. You're, and you're tr- you, you got the best mismatch on the field, and he can do a lot of things. He's he's been he's sh- you increase his workload from one year to the next, and I, I just think he's going to kind of he's already been at the upper echelon of fantasy point scoring. I don't know what his total carries were last year, or um, but I agree with what you just said though. You're at the end of Drew Brees' career, so at this point you're trying to max out what you can get out of Alvin Kamara. It's not like you care about what Alvin Kamara is going to be doing in four years. You yeah. just don't. You, right. You're going to reload after Drew Brees does what he does. Only 194 attempts last year, but 81 receptions. Right. So I mean, I think I think you could easily push that number up. He had 18 touchdowns. <laughs> yeah. Right, and that's what that's what that's what oh has kept God. him up there because he like Mark Ingram was getting some of those touchdowns before, and then all of a sudden, like Mark Ingram had a ton of touchdowns the, the year before, and then this last year he only had six. Well, also and every weeks time they, one through four, Kamara went bonkers. Well, sure, but every time they got down to the goal line, like in years prior, that they, they were kind of putting in a little bit more Mark Ingram, and Kamara stayed in there a lot of the times yeah. in these situations. Yo, Kamara had two forty plus point games in two, in those first four weeks with a thirty seven in there too, and an sure, 18. and I mean he definitely came back. I told I had we had this conversation last. Last year, I said he's going to come back down to earth some when that happens. But he didn't have any more forty-point games. <laughs> that is a fact. Um, <laughs> Only one thirty-point game the rest of the season. But I think he could easily get into like the two hundred and eighty carry category here. Like that'd be a big ass bump because he had one hundred and twenty his first year, one hundred ninety-four his second year. I'm not saying that like you know. I, I think Latavius Murray will still be good and, and useful, but I just yeah. I just think that like. I, I just think that they're gearing in the direction of like I think they could have kept Mark Ingram for like another million bucks or something like I think that's they really of, hate him like what yeah. it came down to or yeah something along they those really lines it was him. just I just have the feeling that Kamara is the biggest winner out of here and I think that there's like let's just say it's 60 more carries out of Kamara and that's a ton to take away from Latavius Murray not that I, I want Latavius Murray like of course like like we talked about before, anybody on the Saints, I want, I want the guy on right, the Saints. And right. I like Latavius Murray. He looked good. And I could be 100% wrong on this. They could be just maybe conserving Kamara for the first little bit of the first half of the season, at least. Uh, I mean, I think it's it, the season's so realistically short. Mm-hmm. You got to make the playoffs before you can start coasting. Right. I don't, I, I think it's going to be best players on the field and you're right maybe maybe i'm a little high on latavius murray's week to week start ability uh and maybe just a little bit i could be a little maybe too low a little, and you could be a little too high maybe, and maybe i'm a little rose colored glasses on the idea it's, it's not against latavius i just i just have a feeling that i feel like it's time for just put your best guy on the field you just went got jared cook you got another tight end that can get out there and do something for you you're trying to win yeah, and you, uh, Max Unger just retired. That's a huge blow for them. Huge blow. I feel like Latavius has got much more breakaway speed than Mark Ingram. So uh, when they do take when they when they switch out, like you Mark know, Ingram's shiftier in a short space. Yeah, though. Mark Ingram's like a like just 
a junkyard dog. Like he's, well, Mark that's Ingram's, his specialty is running you over, but he's shifty. But Latavius' his specialty is breaking it. If he has a big opening, you tell me that he can't a runway. He's the, a runway runner. Well, he, the, the he Saints, he's runway he's long speed. speed. The Saints can't scheme him some space. That that's I'm what not, they do. I, I agreed. I agreed. So I just feel like whenever they're alternating series. It's just not an alternating one for one alternation. Yeah. It's probably three for Kamara sure. to one for for I, Latavius. So. I would also argue that his spryer faster days are probably in his past. I don't know that he was busting really long runs. Nobody was busting I mean. long runs for the Vikings last. Uh, maybe Deval, Dalvin Cook might have had one good run. Their offensive line was yeah, absolutely horrendous. It's pretty much the worst offensive line in the league. Latavius Murray at this point is a I, is, I, a, I is a quicker, faster player than Mark Ingram for mm, sure. I don't think so. Oh, I agree. Yeah. No way. Mm. Oh yeah. And and maybe I, long and, long speed. Yeah, I, I think, think long he's speed. He's always been faster than him. But I think I think that's part of a huge part of Ingram's game is that he's he's very quick in in his lateral movements and, I mean, and can still run you over uh, yeah, I think a, quick Latavius choice, Murray, a quick shift behind a lot of scrimmage is one thing but i'm saying latavius murray's got some speed and le- like mark ingram he would burst into a hole that the offense not that he didn't do anything but the offense is there they make you cover every square inch of the field and so when mark ingram would bust out into an open spot he he'd eat up that 20 or 30 yards in front of him and then the defense would be there because he's not running away from anybody. If Latavius gets a seam, he could take it. I'm not saying I, th- I think he's a runway player. So if you give him a runway, he can he can run pretty fast. But he's, he's I mean, Latavius did have a six point eight three second cone drill. Yeah, I mean, I think he had a pretty fast. So, I mean, that was a long time ago. Three Both of these drill. boys aren't twenty years yeah. old anymore. I think if they I'm were worried saying, about preserving Kamara, they would have just brought back Ingram because I think Ingram's a better running back than Latavius Murray is at this point. Oh, I, I, mean, I, I mean, I I think maybe the way Ingram sees the field, he's a better running back than Latavius Murray. But some of the runs that Latavius Murray even made just to be on the Vikings the last year or two, yeah, I, I agree. I'm not were, disagreeing about Latavius, but the I, total lack of run blocking that's been the uh, the Minnesota Vikings the last two. seasons seasons and for Latavius to do some of the things he did I was very impressed me too so I think Latavius could look really good in the Saints uniform anybody's gonna look good in a Saints uniform at the running back position I, I want the Saints lamp yeah mm-hmm. agreed all right well let's uh let's does that wrap it up for Latavius yeah I think that'll wrap Latavius up let's take another quick break and then we'll be back with a couple uh questions from the community page for your pleasure 